สวัสดีค่ะนักเรียนทุกคน Welcome back to Banana Thai Channel with me ครูสมุก your Thai teacher In this video I will teach you how to read Thai forms like a pro Let's take a look on the right hand side here This is an example of modern font that many of you are struggling And that's why you're watching this video นะะ Ah no worries now I'll help you read and differentiate and define font just a second with Ease. So let's get started. Ka. All right, there are different fonts in Thai language. Start from the first one. Official Thai fonts, the fonts that it's really easy to read because all of them, doesn't matter which font, all of them here has head, as you can see here. Uh, head, right? You can see the head is here. Uh, this is also the head. But then we also have more than Thai fonts as well. And modern Thai fonts are the fonts that are simplified or look looks a little bit like um, the English alphabet. As you can see, all of this, the head are cut out. The head supposed to be here, supposed to be here, and supposed to be here, right? But the heads are all cut out. Second thing that you can see from this is official font of Tao Tao will write it like this. So as you can see, it's a bit more round, ah, more round. Nah, you know, art designer, graphic designer usually use modern Thai font because it give you a bit more like professional and also modern feelings. Next one, the handwriting font. There are different handwriting from this one. We call it tua wat, nah, wat chup. Long tail, as you can see. Now nah, these is more like the font that you use in the past, and it's like a handwriting font that is very very nice, but a bit a little bit more old fashioned. Why these two are similar to my handwriting, more like you know kids, more cartoon like a cartoon font, for example. All right, so now I put everything in one slide right here. Tell me. Can you see anything in common of all of these fonts? Uh, these all fonts are written t u a y a n g t u a y a n g which means example. Uh, all of these example font. Ah, uh, you can see many thing in common, right? For example, with t a o t a o the character of t a o t a o is a broken head. So you can also see this from the modern, also the handwriting as well. What else? Ah, you can also see, for example, let's say n g o n g o The n g o n g o main characteristic of it is head down and tail up. See, head down and tail up, head down and tail up, head down and tail up. It doesn't matter how tall or how long the tail, whether it's you know below the head or at at the same level of the head, it doesn't matter. But the characteristic of it is. Head down and tail up. As you can see from this example, you can notice that each of the consonant or the letter have the distinction characteristic, and it doesn't matter what fonts, you can always read it. So let's get started with all characteristic um, keys for you to learn. Ah, as you can see, first one, g o g a i base. g o g a i base has kind of like you know U shape, but you know how do you call it? Different side of the U shape like this. Ah, let's take a look here. g o g a i This is the normal font, the official official font, and it's very easy to see. Well, it looks similar like this, right? But the main character of g o g a i is with the mouth, so it's more like this. Going up with the mouth and down, same as this one. Going up with the mouth and down, going up with the mouth and down, and a bit going up with the mouth and down. So as you can see, it's like a U, but in this direction, another side, with kind of like some small head. For example, this is g o g a i Hmm, and g o g a i is also the main key of other um, consonants as well. Many of other consonants also look similar to Gokai. For example, this one, ka. This one is what? t o t u n g Ah, t o t u n g Ah, t o t u n g This one looks like Gokai, but with the head. This one is p a 
สัมเผาอ่ะพอสัมเผานะคะพอสัมเผาท้อถุงมันพอสัมเผาอ่ะ the thing is all of them share you know the base of g o g a i but then take a look here the key is that is a head here and a head here but the head you know are on a different side so second tip for you not only the base but also the 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 main key for example gogai has a mouth without head t o t u n g and p o s a m p a o has a head but then you have to take a look whether the head is on which direction ah you have to also see as well if the head is on the right side like this here t o t u n g ah on the right side of the line do see t o t u n g but on the left side of the line is p o s a m p a o ah So again, review. Now, first one, you look at the base. So this is g o k a i b a g e Would look more like you, but you know, flip you. Second one, ka. You look at the head. If there is a head or not. Ah, and last one, ka. Which side of the head? You see. Okay. So to differentiate between g o k a i Thaw t u n g and p a s a m p a o and also see from other type of font like handwriting font, and also the modern font as well as you can see. No, a bit of if it like this, put the head on it. You can already see it's thaw t u n g This direction, put the head on top. This is p a s a m p a o All right, now let's move on to the next base, ka, k a k a i base. So it look more like a U. Ah, k a k a i look more like a U base. See. U base, no. g o k a i is a flip U, k o k a i is a U. So here I collect or I gather all of the um, Thai consonant that look similar. I look like a U, 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 and U, as you can see like this. But These are all U base, but they all have different characters. For example, k o k a i k o k a i normally has a spiral head down when you are not. Okay, I want to compare k o k a i with b o b e Mai. Can you take a look at these two, k o k a i and b o b e Mai? What are the differences? Ah, first tip ka. k o k a i is skinny. Ah, k o k a i is skinny. While b o b a i mai, it's a bit more chubby. Ah, as you can see here, you see, if you compare these two. k o k a i is skinnier than b o b e Mai. It doesn't matter whether what font, but take a look here. See, skinnier than this one, skinnier than this one. Ah, this is the first thing, no? And second thing, as you can see, k o k a i has a spiral head. Ah, k o k a i has a spiral head. Hmm. So now you can already differentiate between k o k a i and b o b e Mai. k o k a i spiral head, skinny. b o b e Mai, s h a p i k o k a i This one doesn't. You know, for the handwriting like cartoon font, it's more simple. So for k o k a i you don't really have to do like this. You can, but normally, normally to spiral. But as you can see, still k o k a i is still skinnier than b o b e Mai. And this one, ka ko kai, spiral head. Nah, b o b e mai non-spiral head. So you already differentiate between ko kai and b o b e mai. Now later on, let's see. There are also other consonant or other letters that look similar to ko kai and b o b e mai, but with additional character. For example, cho chang has a tail. So. The way to write Chao Chang is like writing Kao Kai, and then tail. 
the tail come up to the you know come close to the head and go out same thing as this one as you can see like cha chang come to the head and tail this one ka come to the head and tail this one as well like ko kai come to the head doop, and tail hmm this is cho chang cho chang is with tail like ko kai with a tail and cho also is like you know cho chang but with the broken head as you can see broken head and tail broken head and tail broken head and tail oops broken head and tail mm. so as you can see ko kai cho chang and so so broken head and then tail like cho chang you see the differences right of this side now ha bob in my base na ha you have bob in my no very easy for the more modern as you can see they don't really have the head so you can also add the head like this and you already define that it's bob in my no because it's look exactly well not exactly but similar to the official thai font no one tip is adding the head will help you as well mm. the thing is from bob and mai if bob and mai has a long tail bob and mai should be a long tail this is bob la all right this is bob la nah as so that's this one nice Oop. but bob la has long tail Oop. nah bob and mai Oop, doop, doop. Blah, blah. long tail same as this one cut for the modern tie this is bob and mai but a little bit higher long tail is bob la nah and last one here is so rsi so rsi na ha so rsi is like bob and mai with a dash here i call it a dash look like a dash Doop. here na ha so same thing bob and mai and chup. bob and mai and chup. same as this one ka a little bit round and then chup. this is so to see okay ah let's taste a bit what is this one ka um guess what ko kai ka because it's simple no tail no broken head and it's skinny this is the more like a cartoon font or my hand handwriting font and this one is bobe mai right because it's a bit fatter than ko kai this is ko kai this is bobe mai for the modern thai font let's take a look what is this one ka ah ko kai ใช่ไหม but if this one ค่ะ this is with a tail ko kai with a tail is cho chang and this one ค่ะ look like ko kai but with the broken head and tail this is so so see that is the ko kai base next base ka ko kwai base ka ko kwai base is similar to you know other side like you but other side like ko kai but then there should be head in the middle here okay more like this you when you see this you think about like for example this is ko kwai many student has a problem differentiate between ko kwai and do de I can give you a tip. This tip is actually from my students from the group class, and they proposed me this tip. Take a look here. The head of ko kwai and do de. Ko kwai ha looks like this is the ass of the ko kwai mean buffalo, right? So this is like a ass of the buffalo, and with the tail coming down. Ah, see the ass with the tail. Why do de? The the character of it is like this, the dodic with the muscle. 
<laughs> right? Dal dek with the muscle. Ah, so as you can see, dal dek, dal dek is a kid with a muscle. Uh huh. Kokwai with a hole and I mean hole. I mean the the ass, the butt, the butt, nah, with the tail down. Ah, but both of them share the same base like this. Now with the head in the middle. So you have kokwai, ah, and dodek. Hmm. Let's do kokwai and dodek as you can see, right? Head on a different side. This one, ka, this side. Same as this one. Butthole, tail. And then this is a muscle. Okay, mate. Hmm. For the modern Thai font, you can already imagine the head like right here. Ah. Okay. And Dodic, the head should be right here. It's simplified. No, it's supposed to be more like this, but it's simplified. It doesn't go that up like this. Hmm. Okay, mate. So go quiet more like this. Butthole and tail. <laughs> Why dog dick? It's like dip. Ah, uh, like this. Now, or more like simplify. Hmm. But look, now go guy is like this. Still different now because there is nothing around here. No, different from dog dick. Ah, so you know already go kwai and dog dick. The base with you with the dot in the middle, the head in the middle. Here, you have kokwai, but with a dash. Here, Doop. this is so sala or the pavilion. See, the t the dash, the dash, and the dash. So it's like kokwai le ha, but with a dash. So the dash here is the main character. Why to tao ha? The main character is broken head. It's like Dodic. This is Dodic, right? But with the broken head. Doop, doop. Ah, the broken head. Same as this one card. This is Dodic. But Tao is a broken head. See? Hmm. Alright. So these are the character with Kokwai or Dodic base. The U with the head in the middle. Mm. Okay, me hi. Let's test a bit. What is this one, ka? Uh -huh. What is this one? Mm? The head, I mean the butthole and the tail. This is Kokwai. But if Kokwai with the dash on top like this, this is so sala. Why another one, ka? The bicep. This is dode ka. But dode, if it with the broken head, it's to tao ka. Okay, na? So you learn the kokwai base as well. Now, ka, ro rua base. Hmm. Look like S. Hmm. Look like S. Because for ro rua, the way you write ro rua, head, up, back, and wave. Head, up, back, and wave. This is ro rua. And when it simplify, it look more like an S. So as you can see, ro rua, an S. But there are also other characters that look similar like ro rua. For example, Totong and Totan. However, Totong doesn't have any head. There are only two consonants that doesn't have head, which are Gokai and Totong. No head. Nakha. So Totong, start from the mid, go down, and like this. Like this is Totong. The top look like ro rua. But the body is different. It's no head. No? So ta tong, as you can see from the modern Thai font, start from here, start from the middle. Start from the middle, below the head. See? Not the head, but like below the 
the top part. See? Below the top part. Start from here. Mm. And last one, ka totan. It looks like ro rua. But the head start from the middle. Uh, it's like ta tong but with the the head here. No? Some students think that it looks like jaw zan. This is jaw zan. But with the wave tip like ro rua. But you know, it's not that important as this one. This is the clearest thing. Totan ka has this stroke. Head down, up, down, up, like this. <laughs> this stroke. If you see this stroke, doesn't matter how it is written. Like I mean, it could be like this or like this or like this. Doesn't matter if it below something like this. You know that it's totan. No, so this is the main character. So to conclude, ka ro rua or s base, no, ah ro rua, like s base. Ta tong. Start from the middle down. Why ta tan has this stroke below, a separated stroke. Okay, my. All right. So. Now, after you learn all of the base, start from Gokai base, you, but you know, flip you, Kokai, you, Kokai or Baby Mai, Kokai or Dadik, flip you with a head in the middle, or if it Kokai, you kind of think about the whole of the butt. Well, I know it sounds disgusting, but please, it helps. Then ro rue s base, no ro rue base, no. Now, ka, let's learn a bit more. This one, ka, half or round letter. This one has more like you, but this side. Hmm, this side. For example, ngong. But the main character of ngong is the tail go up. It's like the snake, and then the tail go up. See the snake. Ah, the snake, like snakes, and then tail up. Like this also snake, you know the cobra, and then with the tail up, like this. This is ngong ngu, right? Ngong ngu means snake. Ngu means snake. Ngong ngu, na ha? Ah, so as you can see, head down and tail up, head down and tail up, head down and tail up, head down and tail up. up. But as you know, the modern font doesn't have the head. Down and up, straight up. Wall way went. Wall went. Sorry. Wall went. The ring. No. Head and then go down like this, like a hook. Tuk. Mm. So as you can see, the head is on a different side. But when it's come with modern font, it looks similar. But again, as I mentioned. Wo wen ngo ngu has a tail like wo wen but then tail up. This is ngong, but wo wen it's perfect half round. Zhao zhan ka. Head down and all the way up. 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 So zhao zhan will have head. Hmm, so zan. Ngong ngu. Doop. See, this tail is the main character. Wo wen and so zan with the with the head here. Okay, so you got ngong ngu, wo wen, so zan. Now let's take a look here. O ang and hong nuk hu. O ang, ka normally you write o ang like this. Hmm. So, but o ang, just put the head here, you will see already it's o ang, no? Hmm. Oh ah. Hmm. Hong Kong is like oh ah, but with a dash. Hong Kong is like oh ah, but with a dash up like this. Hmm. Okay, my. So again, ngong ngu halfway with the tail up. Like this. Wo wen. Zhao zhan. Okay, my. The head is here. And then oh ah. 
Han Hu with the dad. Doop. All right. So see, learning the character of it. See. Helps you define and differentiate. Of course, some of them still quite similar, but it will really help you. Doesn't matter what font you are reading. Naka. Ah, this is a broken body. Another type of the base. Look like you, but broken. Or like, see, it's broken. Doop, doop. Here, popan ka. Look like for, sorry, po pung. But the head, this one, po pan. Head on outside. Why po pung? Head inside. Head look to the tail. No? Po pung look to the tail. Po pan look out. No? Po pan. Po pung. Po pan. Po pung. Look in. Po pung. Ah. Well, my student told me a tick, the trick, the, 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 the tip to remember. So he say that this is a head. Peng, think about queen bee. Ah, so it's the queen. So the head look at the mirror. <laughs> so the head look at the mirror. Ah, this is the queen bee. So the bee po peng, no? a tip for you to remember. Okay. So po pan mean po peng, no? And then for po pan but with longer tail, this is for fun. Ka. See? Po pan. For fun with longer tail. Po peng. Head look at the mirror. Or look at the tail. See? Po peng. Head this direction. Look at the tail. Po peng and fo fa ka. If it look like po peng. No, but with longer tail, this is fa fa. This is pa pung. Longer tail is fa fa. This is pa pung. Longer tail is fa fa. So now you can already differentiate. Pa pan, pa pung, fa fan, fa fa. Ah, let's try again. What is this one, ha? Huh? Head out. Head in. This is for sure, it's a queen bee, so Paul Pung. And this one is Paul Pan. Okay? If you want to write it down a bit more in the modern font, Paul Pan is a simple one. Why Paul Pung has a bit of head to define that the head go to this direction. There are two more. Ka. This is look like Paul, look, like, look like for fun, Han Yao. But Ah, stroke like this. This is lojula or the junk. Lojula, no? See? And then, doop, this is lojula. And the one that is broken, not on this part, but this side, if you rotate it, this is your yakka. See? Broken here, broken here, broken here, and broken here. This is your yak, the giant broken here hmm so the broken body ah half round like this and broken body now let's take a look at something more in detail like the broken head this is dodic not broken head but tao with a broken head dodic remember with a muscle like this Tota with the broken head. Cho chang ka. Skinny ko kai with the tail. But if it broken head, this is so so. This one ka tota han. Ah, this one ka tota han. But this one ka, if it's with a broken head, it's to monto. Tota han, to monto. Both of them has t sound uh -huh. this one ka broken head as well broken head as well this one ka look like tao tao no broken head and mixed with more ma like more ma look like this uh -huh. so it's a you know it's a mix of two consonants together this is more ma but if it broken head this it call la kang 
Mama Koraka. See? Broken head. This is Dode. This is Dodao. Broken head. This is Cho Chang. The broken head Cho Chang is so so. This is Tata Han. But if it broken head, it's Tho Mun To. This one, like Tho Tho broken head. This one come more ma, more like this, I guess. So you can add head here and head here like more ma. But if it broken head, call rakha. Broken head ka. Now ha, you can also see I mentioned already from head left, head right, no? Head. Like this dodek, shamai. But this one is ko kwai. This is to tao, no? Like dodek, broken head. But going this direction is ko kon. We don't use ko kon anymore, na? It's obsolete. We don't use it in entire alphabet, no? This is pa pan ka. This is queen bee pa pung. Look at the mirror. Ah. For fun, no? Pa pan with a tail. This is for fa, like the queen bee with long tail. Mm. And this is paw sampao. And ta tung ka. See? Head left and right also part of the character as well. But we go through this quickly because we already went through. No? Next one ka. Double head base. Double head base. Mama. <laughs> like this. No, no. In the back. See? It look like a no, no. no? Uh, Mama is like this. See, mama, and no, no, it's like, like this, uh, mama, see, two head, head, and uh, the legs, uh, mama, ha, in my mama, no, no, ha, in the back, mm. ha, heap, ha, ha, heap, ha, here and here. No? Look like K in English. Shaw Shing Ha. Shaw Shing. Look like no no, but with a umbrella on top. Ah. Shaw Shing. See, the head is right here. Mm. So, but not so commonly used, no? But here you go. This is Moma. But this one is No, no. If you put the head, imagine there is a head here. You kind of see it, the character of it with double head. Mm. Okay, now hat. Ah. This is a compound form, means there are more than two letters together. This one is a mix of Totao and Moma. Look. Ah, this is Toputao. See? Totao and Moma. Mm. Next one, ka no name is like Totung mixed with no no. Look. It shares the same character as no no because of, you know, this one. This part. This part. Mm. No, no. Ah, ta tung with no, no. Cha cha ka, ta tung as well with mo ma ka. See? Cha cha. And yo ying ka, ta tung. But yo ying is very, very easy to see. Because Yao Ying has an earring. Yao Ying means lady or woman has an earring. Ah, see? The earring, the accessory. Mm. These are the mix, now the compound form. All of these, if you see the dash, if you see all dash coming out like chup, 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 all of them has a sound. So, 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 this is loling ka loling loling without the dash but with saucer with the dash so loling is written like a in english 
นะซอสเสือ like lolling but with the dash อืมโอเคไหมคะซอสเสือ with the dash lolling without the dash this is sauce a l a like ข้อควาย the buffalo but with the dash this is b o b e m a i ค่ะ but if it b o b e m a i with the dash this is s a w the sea นะ so they are just a few like base and the rest are more like added okay these Con, uh, these characters are with the accessory. Remember this one, t o t h a n from the raw r e a base, with the wave top head, but with the accessory. This is t o t h a n y o i n g with the earring. Ah, this is d o s h a d a Whoop, like paw, s a m p a o long and boop. This is t o p a t a k Look like Dosha Da l e but with double wave here. No, so these are not really commonly used, but it's also good for you to to realize to to also like notice them with the accessory. Ta Tan, Yao Ying, Dosha Da, Ta p a t a k Hmm. All right, so that's it. Let me conclude quickly before we do exercise together. So, for the base, you have a different base. For example, start from the first one. This one. Upside down, you or g o k i base. Nah. Next one, you base k o k i or bobe mai. Upside down with a head in the middle, k o k w a i and d o d e k Remember d o d e k with the muscle. <laughs> Then, r o r e or S base, S shape base r o r e n a The main one is here, the wave on top. Then you have half round letter, like this. Then you also have. Broken body, like this and like this. This one is easy. The only one is your yakno with the broken body on the side. Mm. The broken head. If there is a head, left or right, take a look at it. Double head base. Mama, like this. Mama. No, no, na ha he. And c h o s h i the dash, and the accessory. All right, so let's define Thai consonant. These are the modern Thai fonts. Take a look. What base is it? Upside down U with a hole. Hmm. So, probably look. The head is left or right. Ah, like this. Head on the right, no, like this. The distinction is what there is the dash. So what is it if you write down like this with the dash? Oops, ah, uh. this is so s a l a h a This one is easy. S base or r o r e a This one, ha, what base is it? U base, right? The head, broken head. To my broken head. This one, ka, with the tail in the back. So if you put them together, you got so so. Mm. Next one, ka, this one. Upside down with the head in the middle. This direction, doop. ah, like this, with a broken top. So put them together. This is t a t a o ha. This one la. Half, half round. See half round base. 
Oh, that is a head as well. Here. Hmm. You already see from this now. This is wall wen. This one, ka. Oh, there is a head here. So half round, same, but with head like this. So this one is all an. And last one, ka. Broken body. Mm. The broken body head is this side, but with a long tail. So, this is Pa Peng, but with a long tail is Fa Fa. Aha. Let's try a bit more. This one, ka. Base. What is base? Double head base. Right? Ah. And the head below one is opposite side. This is no no. No? This one, ka. With the head. Two head here. What is it? Mo ma. No? No, no. Mo ma. This one, ka. Ooh. This one, when you see this, you kind of know that, you know, the distinction. This is the earring of the lady. Yo ying, ka. This one, what is it? Law ling. This one, ka, it's like lolling, but with a dash. So, what is it, ka? So, su, ka. This one, U base, but this one is fat, no, not the small one. If it's small, it's called ka. If it's fat one, it's bo be mai, but bo be mai with a long tail. What is it, ka? Flaw ba. And last one here, go kai base this no? with the head inside mm. so this one is kokai piece to tung all right so if you get all of this exercise right congratulations i think you already cover more than 90% no ah the tip three tai fonts first find the head and tail this one will there is no head and tail, okay? This one, ka, head is here. Call kai, no? Head here. Call kai. This one, next one, the head is here. What is it? Call kai, na ha? Like a buffalo, butt, and tail. <laughs> next one, ka, the head is here. And with the tail up, ngo ngo. This one, ka, the head is here, clearly or ang. Um, the head is here. Long tail, bop la. The head is here. S shape is ro rua. The head is here and the head is here. Ha he. The head is here with the tail up. Sha shang ka. Now find the head and the tail of it. Second tip, find the distinctions. See? Kokai. If it like this is Bobby Mai, but if it's Pyra Head is Kokai. No? Also, for example, this one, the broken head. Kok na this is Dodic, right? But Dodic with the broken head is to tao. Ngo ngo, the distinction is tail up. Nah. Hohi, the distinction, well, double head on top. Yo ying, the distinction is the earring below. Lastly, ka, you don't really have to look at each of the letter, but I want you to look at the whole word or the whole syllable and guess the word from the context. Okay, guess from the context. For example, this one, this word, you found something like this. This is probably lolling. Huh. Head is this size, so pon. Pon what? Like this, this is moma. Pon what? Pon mai. Pon la mai. Ka. Pon la mai. This one. Ka. Pon la mai. Nah, look like this. Pon la mai. Thai. See, broken body on the side. Yo, yak. Pon la mai. Thai. Oh, ang. Ro, rue, no? 
อะวอดอร่อยอย่อยอะพูดเหตุที่สุดอ่าสอเสือ with the dash yeah you see สระอุ below and this is ดอดเอืมผลไม้ไทยอร่อยที่สุด Thai fruits are the most delicious try this one ค่ะ this one is this บอเบมายโอขอไข่ It's clearly b o b e m a i because k o k a i with a spiral head and skin ear, no? So b o b e m a i broken roof, t o t a This is the r e a right? So bat, ha bat ticket. Bat put the head for them. k o k a i bat cow put the head it. With the tail is c h o c h a n g Put the head, the head here. But cow show, but cow show mean visiting card, visiting you know ticket. Ah, the S base or r o r a Ra, ha, cost twenty. Ba. Look at the whole thing, like, but, cow, show, raka, y e s i ba. The visiting ticket cost 20 baht. I believe that this lesson will be helpful, especially those who just started to learn how to read Thai and learn the Thai script and learn Thai alphabet. n a k a In case you want to learn how to read Thai with ease, read basic Thai, you can also check out with my ultimate guide to Thai reading course. It started only 2,300 baht, n a k a per month in order to learn consonants, vowels. Tones, reading rules, exception, everything will be in that course. Now, take a look on my website, w w w b a n a n a t h a i s c h o o l c o m Feel free to DM me at info at b a n a n a t h a i s c h o o l c o m I hope to see you and help you get started with learning Thai. Let's take a look. Bye bye, ka.